Welcome. It's still plus politics. Now, the People's Democratic Party, PDP, has said the recent onslaught uh, on the residence of the Supreme Court Judge Justice Mary Odili is part of a grand design by the ruling APC, which is the All Progressives Congress, to hijack the 2023 elections. This is even as the party described the attack on Justice Odili's um, residence as horrendous, rascally, irresponsible, completely unjustified and should not be swept under the carpet on the guise of misleading whistleblower operation. Now to discuss this with us is of course uh, legal practitioner Ladikba Johnson. Thank you very much Mr. Johnson for staying with us. Mr. Johnson can you hear me? Yes I can. Great. Um, so we've been following this story. It's a, a developing story as we see um, some people were caught paraded um, by security agents. Um, one person seems to be singing like a canary and he did make allegations uh, uh, against the uh, attorney general of the federation saying that this was, uh, you know, that they, they had a conversation that led to, um, you know, the raid. Now, the... The um, AGF has said that he does not know this person. He has never seen him. He has never had a conversation with him. Um, so I'm going to ask this question um, because you are a lawyer. Should this be a case that is being investigated? Of course, yes. Uh, he's the Attorney General of the Federation. Um, should it be investigated? The PDP is saying that this might be swept under the carpet uh, and, and um, under the guise of a whistleblower. Uh, you know, and they're saying that because it's not true. But is it not investigatable? Yes, um, it's, it's such a sad situation that the Attorney General of the Federation would be totally unaware of what um, happened. Surely he could liaise with the Inspector General, the DSS, and all of the agencies. But then the PDP, but the PDP is saying that the PDP is sounding almost certain. I know you're not speaking for the PDP or you know for the the government of the day. The PDP is almost certain that because the Attorney General of the Federation has been fingered in this issue, it might be swept under the carpet, and this might be the last that we hear of it. Except that people keep pushing for an investigation, a thorough investigation to be done. But my major question is, can the Attorney General not be investigated as a suspect in this issue because somebody has fingered him? Yes, um, here we are. The Attorney General can be investigated. He's not above the law. But do you have a president that can say, Attorney General, step aside, for a few months, that's why the PDP is correct to say that it's probably the last we'll hear about it, or it will be swept under the pocket. Um, as I said, it's such a shame, and it's not the first one. Um, look at um, the Abakari Yamin, the Eastman issue. Yeah. It's a similar thing. So we know how we think of this in Nigeria. It's in Nigeria. It's unfortunate. What would happen in a real uh, we're, having, we, we're having really serious connection issues uh, with you, Mr. Johnson. Unfortunately, it's not letting us hear you. So I'm going to uh, unfortunately let you go. Um, uh, it's not your fault, but we cannot hear you. Uh, the connection is really bad today. Uh, but thank you very much for speaking with us. All right. Well, on that note, we'll take a quick break, bring you the reactions of Nigerians to the attack of the uh, Justice Odili's residence. And when I return, I'll give you my take. We all know that uh, everybody has condemned it. 
and I share the same view. Because those who went there seem not to have gone there for any meaningful purpose. That is why all of them are denying and backing out. So I feel if a Supreme Court justice could be so invaded, that means every other ordinary citizen of this country is not safe. The, the invasion is, 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 is totally an aberration from the, from the rules of law, and I actually condemn it. From my innermost uh, uh, emotion, I, I, I feel so bad about it, and I'm not happy. That's just it. There need to be some major improvement on that. I discovered that over time, the will of justice in this country grinds too slow, too slow. And I've been denying, denying litigants, particularly innocent litigants, and litigants uh, who ordinarily will have, you know, be uh, their, possibly their damages, or maybe whatever wrong they have, been, they have had will have been, you know, either ameliorated or will have been uh, totally compensated. Anything can happen in our country, you know. Uh, there is no fire without smoke. I think uh, reading that has uh, it has a reason. Even if at, at the end of the day it was denied that uh, nothing happened. Uh, well, I don't I don't see anything much to read. Uh, what she need to do is uh, definitely she would know the person that raided the house, the people that uh, planned that, uh, uh, the, the people that planned the scene. So it's nothing. Uh, the, whatever the public is reacting to is of no use to us because it's, it's just like where a politician fighting each other. You you'll be thinking that they are fighting for our sake, whereas they are fighting for themselves. It's time for my take. Now, every day we have conversations around what government should do, what government is not doing, what we expect of government, and what we should do to get government to meet our demands or deliver the dividends of democracy. It's all just talk. Now, until we move from just having those conversations to making sure that we push those demands to our government, hold them responsible, uh, responsible make sure that they give us the dividends that they promised us. Election season is around the corner. 2022, they will come for your votes. They will start. I saw, I saw something on social media talking about, oh, um, it's election season. They will start, you know, selling corn. Some of them will start helping to plate hair. They will start acting like they can eat the food that you eat just in the buka because they want your votes. Well... If we're really serious about the type of governance that we want from these leaders, it's time for us to show them that we're done with these tricks. We're done with the games. It's time for serious business. If you do not have anything to offer us, don't come to us. Don't try to get our votes, because if we give you our votes, then we expect something in return. Not your 500, not your 5,000, not your rice, not your salt. We want you to do the job. If you cannot do the job, do not come to us. Let's begin to take a borrow a lift from the Anambra people. They voted for who they wanted. Even when there were inducements, they decided that this was who they wanted. There was no hanky-panky. Even when there was some form of hanky-panky, the people stood there, cast their votes, and made sure that it counted. It's now the job of every single Nigerian to look at the Anambra example. If you want a change in your country, well, you got to be ready. Get your card. I asked somebody yesterday, do you have a voter's card? No. How do you want to change Nigeria? Get your voter's card. Join a political party. Be part of the decision making so that when the party throws up a candidate, it would be a candidate that you and I are sure of that he, he or she might be able to deliver the dividends of democracy. Until then, keep saying that politics is a dirty game. They will soon rob you the dirt. My name is Mary Anoko. Thank you for watching.